Welcome into Channel 6.9 News. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Let's jump straight into the news today. A lot of buzz from our sports teams. I'm going to take it over to Pierce D. Naples, our sports analyst. Welcome, Pierce. Forbidden from the beginning, I saw her there, up there Feeling like since I met her, they said I couldn't have her Way out of my league, I never believed it Gotta get Thanks, John. As we all know, Tate Tate's football team just won the Super Bowl. Go Swifties! Wow. Here's coverage of the winning Super Bowl touchdown now. Oh my God, they're lining up. Oh God. Oh, Mahomes has the ball. Oh, he throws it. Oh! They just scored. Oh my God, oh, they jumped up. Whew. Wow, that was really good. Here are some more highlights from this week's local water polo team. Oh God, they control that ball so well. God, they're so strong and muscular and they're soaked. God, I would love to be in that pool right now. I I can't, dude. Here's female soccer. Looks like Eagles won it again. Um, any chance we go, go back to that water polo? Thanks, Naples. Now, a special vacation getaway house from our sponsor, Airbnb. Scan this QR code for a chance to win a weekend getaway at the Boys Vacation Weekend Getaway Villa. Airbnb, our sponsor, have asked that I read comments from the Boys Weekend Getaway. So we have from John Beckham. As a group of guys looking for a getaway, we were taken aback by the strange rules at this Airbnb. From mandatory pillow fights to group massages, the atmosphere felt more like a frat initiation than a relaxing retreat. The no shirt, no shoes, no problem policy quickly turned into a no shirt, no pants, no privacy. That was kind of weird. Let's see what Nate Grillman has to say. Looking for a boys getaway, we booked this Airbnb expecting a laid back weekend. Little did we know we'd be diving into the nudist colony vibe. The hot tub rule of no clothes allowed took us by surprise, making us wonder if we accidentally stumbled into a European spa. And don't get me started on, started on the one bed fits all situation. Felt like a slumber party gone wrong. With all three dudes squeezed into one bed like sardines, definitely not the bro bonding experience we were looking for. From Blake Smith, we have, as one of the guys on the getaway, I had to admit, I found the unconventional rules surprisingly enjoyable. The no clothes in the hot tub and sharing one bed policy added to the unexpected element of fun. It was liberating to embrace the carefree atmosphere and to just be ourselves without any judgment. Plus, the group massages and pillow fights brought out the playful sides in many ways I've never imagined. Definitely a unique experience that I would I wouldn't mind repeating. What the heck? Now transitioning to this week's interview, we have Hank. Hank, please tell us about your job. Craigslist. Hank, what do you do on Craigslist? I, uh, I kill people. <laughs> Hank, why do you kill people? Uh, you know, the enjoyment of it. Taking one person out of this world at a time. Uh, okay, we're going to bring this over to Maui in the kitchen and see what's going on there. Mm. Hey, Jerry, thank you so much for inviting me onto your show. Uh, today, uh, folks, we'll be making my Mima's famous filet mignon recipe and, uh, you know what? I actually forgot the meat. You know what? I'll be right back.
Ninja! No, no, no! Ninja! No, no, stay away! No, Ninja! No. So sorry about that, folks. Um, I got to meet right here again. It's filet mignon. It's from the calf of one of our cattle out back. May may his soul rest in peace. But um, anyways, uh, let's just have this cooking segment commence. So first, you're gonna want to grab your bell pepper. Your I'm so sorry. So hello, sir. I'm with the police. Uh, your neighbors have been complaining about the noise around here. What's going on? Uh, nothing, sir. I'm just in the middle of uh, broadcasting something to the news right now. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Chef Pee Pee. Uh, do you mind if I come take a look around? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. I okay. guess. You. There's a car from the knocks at down there. Back. I don't want to hear You're it. gonna get harmed if you go down there. If you breathe in the gas, you can die within the next 10 minutes. Sir, there's a car from the knocks at Don't go down there. Oh, sir, there's. Sir. I recommend you to cover your mouth and nostrils, sir. I promise you, like, you're gonna die in 10 seconds. We should get out of here. What's sir, this? sir, we should get out of there. I sir, I promise you. Sir, I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know what he's doing there. Sir, I promise you he's a squatter. He's been there the past 15 years. Um, you have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be... Um, you're under... Shut up. Who are you? My name's Peppercorn. I've been tracking down this man for five years now. How, 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 do you, how do you even know this guy? I just found him. And I'm going to kill him. Hitman from Craigslist, and uh, he actually doesn't have a car, so uh, we gotta go. We gotta go pick him up.
Hank? Yes. Get in. So you're Hank? Yeah, I'm Hank. Sorry guys, I don't have a car. Uh, when I had my first mishap with the cops, they took it away. So I'm pretty much living under the grid now. I um, My house is, my shack actually is a couple yards back. Um, <coughs> it, uh, you guys want some music here? Huh? I got it. Today is going to be partly cloudy with a, with a chance of meatballs. Put your hand! Hank? Jerry, you're the one I'm killing? Nuh uh. Business is business. Ow! Fuck! Calling the cops. All right. Please help. I'll be right there. Help, please. Who shot who? You, you shot, shot me. me! You shot me! Shut up! Shoot you! Shut up! Good! I... Shut up! I'm not playing games. Everyone, let's go. Come out. Let's go. You still shot me. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> All right, no more bullshit. What happened? I don't have a gun. I didn't ask if you had a fucking gun. What happened? I don't have a gun. I have proof. All right, what's your proof? What you got? What the hell is this? Look up. Look up gullible? What? World's most gullible person? Go to images. See, look, you are the world's most gullible person. What? No, I'm not. It says it right there. That's not me. Trust, I'll call Maui right now and he'll tell me how gullible you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoa, who are you calling? I've always been with you, Jerry. Yeah, who the fuck are you to tell me who's gullible, huh? Oh, will this jog your memory? <sighs> Chef Pee Pee? I fucking arrested you! How did you get out? Who are you, huh? Fucker. Whoa, hey, hey! All you can fuck up! All you can fuck up! Oh, my fucking dog! My fucking... Chill! Chill! Fuck my foot! My other fucking foot!
happened here. You set me up on this. What do you mean? Bang! It's a really shitty way to end the story. I guess we gotta finish another way. Is this even a real Airbnb?